Coming up on the, this week's Jaguar Week in Review, we'll take a look at what athletic improvements have been added to the high school. This week's Jaguar Week in Review starts now. Announcements for today. Are you a big volunteer? Local students who have done significant community service over their high school years are eligible for the Prudential Spirit of the Community Award. Any students in grades 5 through 12 interested in applying, please see Mr. Walsh immediately for the application. The final program application is due by no November 5, 2019. Online applications can be found at spirit.prudential.com. Please sign up in the office if you are interested in getting a letterman's jacket. Fitting day will be September 26th, if there are any interest. Activities for today. Junior High Volleyball at home versus Melrose at 4.30. Varsity Football at Royalton at 7. As we finish up the third week of classes, many of our viewers may have noticed some changes in the school. Reporter Billy Tenson filed this report that explores some of these new changes. As students left the school for the summer, a whole new group of people filled in. In the three months that students were gone, there were several people that lent a hand making improvements to the BBE sports facilities. When other schools, opponents come to our school, it makes us look, look good, you know, uh, having new materials, so we're very fortunate that way. The old wooden bleachers have been replaced with plastic seating that provides better support for fans. I think the big thing that catches your eye right away is just they look new. They, they're, there's, there's the brighter colors, um, there's their, their school colors, blue and white, where the old ones were just that, that wood color worn down, beat up a little bit. Um, sort of they're flashy. They, they look really nice. The bleachers are just a small part of the improvements done over the summer. The track team has seen some improvements that will support safer track seasons. I believe it's been about 30 years since it's been resurfaced and there was lots of patches where it was thinner which makes it hard on the runner's legs. With the new track it'll be easier for track runners to compete and practice after terrible weather conditions. It's always nice to show off new stuff and now we got a new track, new pole vault pit so we'll be looking pretty good this year. But it's not just what is below you that needs to be safe, it's also the people and things next to you. In BB Wrestling, the previous size of the room was too small for the growing number of wrestlers. However, they were fortunate enough to expand the wrestling room, giving them more space to practice safely. The newest wrestling mat is actually the same size as the mats that the wrestlers compete on. I mean, you got 20, 13 kids wrestling at one time, and you got one group over here, one group over here, and you got more space to be safe. Um, I just want to say thanks to everybody who helped. Um, like I said, thanks to the wrestling club, thanks to the administration, parents, volunteers, and probably most importantly, the wrestlers. Um, with the hard work of everybody, it, it got done. Um, we're pleased. We can't wait to see these improvements being used during these upcoming sports seasons. They should be able to improve the athletic performance for the athletes and possibly the audience members as well. Go Jags. Yeah, go Jaguars. <laughs> Woohoo. Reporting for the Jaguar Week in Review, I'm Billy Tenson. Those look like some great improvements for both our student athletes and our fans. Thanks for that, Billy. Lunch for today. First choice, grilled cheese sandwich. Second choice, barbecue chicken sandwich. Third choice, salad. If you haven't signed up for your Connect yet, you should do that now. Have a great day, BB.